Religion has been revealed as a cult in what appears to be a new Amazon documentary has just been announced that is going to finally expose the truth about the Duggars and their insane religious beliefs. So the Duggars have been longtime supporters of an extremely conservative Christian circle called the Institute in Basic Life Principles or IBLP. And even though we've known for this, you know, for a very long time, no one's ever revealed just how crazy this group truly is. And at first glance, it might sound like any other religious group, but deep within this community lies a scandal that holds absolutely unbelievable secrets. So IBLP developed an extremely pure culture that controlled virtually every aspect of its members' lives, including the Duggar family, and they were given guidelines on everything, down to what they were allowed to learn in school. And this explains why the Duggars were so strict when it came to what the girls were allowed to wear, social media, and relationships but the rules weren't decided on by the parents or the Bible, like the Duggars always wanted us to believe. No, they were actually laid out by the IBLP as a way to control them. And in 2016, Chicago Magazine came out with an expose about the IBLP, and you never in a million years would have imagined what really goes on behind the walls of this tight-knit community. So what you see isn't always what you get, and the same can be said in this case of Bill Gothard, the leader of IBLP. On the surface, Bill looks like every other normal guy living a life based on his beliefs. He never got married, drove a plane car, and claimed to make only 600 bucks a month. But what you see on the surface can be very deceiving. Many members of the IBLP organization treated Bill like some sort of a god. A former member, Elizabeth, said that everyone in their community credited him with literally saving their lives. Bill's teachings were entirely centered around respect for authority, but Bill Bill's behavior towards some of the women of this organization was anything but respectful because he also taught women aren't as important as men. Bill was accused by some female members of his association of behaving inappropriately towards them and this led to Bill being sued. And I hate to say it, but that wasn't even the worst part because after this, other former members of IBLP took the opportunity to speak out, saying that this isn't the first time something like this actually has happened, and according to them, they were all encouraged to dress, wear their hair, and apply makeup in a way that Bill found appealing, which is honestly just so gross, I don't even know where to start. So apparently the organization's teachings on obedience to men and its blame the victim approach made it so difficult for anyone who has been mistreated to even tell the truth, like they were so controlled by the IBLP that it took away their freedom of speech. And then you think about Josh Duggar of it all and everything about how that has been handled both with his sisters and now after his CSAM case and it all makes so much sense. Just like Bill's horrible mistakes were downplayed, almost everyone in Josh's family downplayed his horrible mistakes too and the Duggars are still involved with the IBLP even though many of their friends left the group after everything about Bill was exposed and it was even rumored that Jim Bob and Michelle were supposed to speak at an IBLP event before Josh's arrest, which they obviously backed out of. And after Bill was accused of all this, he took a short administrative leave that eventually became a complete resignation, and he officially left the IBLP organization in 2014. So you would think that he took the leave of on his own, but of course, that's not how it works in their twisted world, just like we saw with Josh. He was actually forced to leave by the IBLP board of directors while they made their investigation about his alleged misconduct. Conduct. According to IBLP, they would never condone or tolerate the mistreatment of anyone. However, three of the former plaintiffs had something much different to say about this. Rachel Frost, Cheris Barker, and Rachel Lees, who were minors at the time, spoke out against the IBLP statement, saying that they endured abusive treatment both physically and psychologically, and that even after that, they received unsupervised counseling from employees of the IBLP. And the worst part of it all, you guys, according to them, was that the IBLP knew about what was going on, but failed to do anything about it. It. So was the IBLP actually trying to cover up for Bill even though they had supposedly cut ties with them? Well, it seems like that's exactly what had happened and apparently the IBLP media statement had many lies in it and it made many people who knew the real story 
very upset. And with an allegation as serious as this, you would think that the IBLP would be more concerned with clearing its own name instead of Bill's, since the board directors claimed that they knew nothing about what he was doing to women, but of course, that didn't do anything to help the investigation, and they refused to produce most of what was legally requested from them, including the internal investigation that they claimed to have done in 2014. And it turns out that Bill isn't the only Gothard family member that was accused of inappropriate behavior because his brother, Steve, resigned from IBLP after some of his extramarital affairs were brought to light. And Steve was also involved in several inappropriate situations, apparently women who were sent to serve as staff members in the notorious IBLP ministry camp in Michigan ended up becoming Steve's victims. And unfortunately, this isn't the craziest part of the story because supposedly some of the women who were sent to their camp in Michigan were actually sent there as punishment after getting in trouble with the IBLP leadership. And Steve's behavior was completely unacceptable and a violation of the moral codes of the IBLP. But he was fired in the 1980s and not much has appeared to change at all. And in fact, it seems like the matters at IBLP are only getting worse and the Duggars have never actually openly mentioned their association with the IBLP. They have discussed the advanced training institution curriculum that was developed by Bill Gothard and no one really knows their decision to not speak about it was because of TLC trying to avoid the extremely controversial past or if the Duggars decided themselves that sharing the group would cause too much drama for their own image. But either way, we're about to find out everything that the Duggars didn't want us to know about their bizarre religion because the IBL's secrets are finally going to be exposed in the new Amazon Studios documentary. So what other secrets do you want this documentary to reveal? I can only imagine there will be so many former members who come forward with some absolutely insane stories about what went on behind closed doors so let me know what you guys think in the comments below well guys thank you all so much for watching this video please do me a huge favor with that like follow share subscribe button and y'all better stay tuned for many more videos